Hey guys, Editing Cade here, and I just want to take a moment of your time. Today is the last episode for the Tactics and Strategy Series 1, and I just want to take a moment of your time to say thank you. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing, and for watching the videos. The reception has been absolutely amazing. Now, I've been day in and day out, gathering intel for Series 2. It's coming sooner than you think. Yeah. That's all I had to say. Better hurry up now. I'm pretty sure I made you late. And the Major ain't gonna be too happy about that. Really? Really, Bobby? You just gonna waltz in here after showing up late for the debrief? What took you so long? The interest is the exact same every time. No? No, 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 no. I don't want to hear excuses. Talk to me after the debrief. Just sit down. Sit down. Sit the fuck down, okay? Sit the fuck down. I can't stand that guy. Um, today I'm excited to bring you guys one of my favorite tactics to use in all of Warzone. So let's get started. Striking first before your opponent has the time to think or prepare will make them emotional, unbalanced, and prone to error. And when you follow that with another swift and sudden attack, you will induce further panic and confusion. That combination makes a fertile soil for your seed of destruction to grow. Follow the arrow with the sword. It's a mixture of the hyper-aggressive maneuver and the envelopment maneuver. More specifically, the close envelopment. Both videos will be up on the top right-hand screen, as well as down in the description below. This tactic is an offensive one with extremely high risk but it yields remarkably high rewards. This is a two-part tactic, so let's start by defining what each one means. First is the arrow. The arrow is your opening move, your initial point of contact. Whether that be a mid or long range attack, throwing a C4 into a second story of a building, or cutting across a strike on the roof. It's that nice, warm love tap that initiates the engagement. In other words, the arrow is your surprise, motherfucker. Next, let's talk about the sword, which follows right after. The sword is that close-range aggressive wet work that disrupts and sows confusion into the enemy forces. But what makes this maneuver so effective is the speed and the suddenness of it. The combination of hard-hitting firepower followed by a close-range barrage is one that is very, very hard to counter. This tactic banks on fear when you attack the enemy from an unknown location, you put them on the back pedal. Once there, you close the gap and suffocate them. The whole point is to not let them recuperate, to hit hard and fast. Be aggressive and don't give them the chance to breathe. There is absolutely no counter to a heavy hit followed by a breach into their safe little fortress. The success of the strategy solely relies on the links within the group, being both tight and mobile. Often, the smaller the better. But what really sells this maneuver is the superior coordination between the parts and how fast you can send information from the top to the bottom. But there is a drawback and one huge trade-off. You'll be going in blind. No enemy position, no ping, no intel. You'll be launching you and your team into the unknown. Casualties should be expected, but not guaranteed. Pop him a few times with the Bruin, and immediately hop down. It's time to close the gap. Switch to the FAL and activate that silence. That boost to the movement speed definitely helps. Now, he's gonna be waiting for me with an RPG, but the suddenness of this tactic won't give him the chance. Let's run that again. The Thermite will be my arrow. I take a few hits, so he thinks I'm gonna pull back, but nope. Hit him again, hit him hard, hit him fast. Like I said before, cohesiveness is key. We were both thinking the same thing, but he beat me to it. So, the C4 is the arrow. Immediately, close that gap.
Catch him on the back pedal, plating up. Easy cleanup. This is why I said that it's a mixture of the envelopment maneuver and the hyper aggressive tactic. Notice right after the arrow, my teammate placed point. Allowing me to get into a key position and play it up. And then go to work. One down, and then his teammates goes to my last known position. Throw a little C4 for distraction. And once again, caught him on the back pedal. The speed of this maneuver is the most important part. Once they are aware of your presence, everything will depend on how fast you can cover that ground. Pop bottom, tag second. Now that they are confused, suffocate them. Remember to crush your enemy totally and catch a reload. Oh shit, then we look fuck, 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 fuck. That's fine. Hold the stermite for me. Toasty! We are chasing this bounty, so the airstrike is gonna be the arrow. As I want to force him down from the high ground. If you wanna learn more ways on how to counter the high ground, link will be on the top right hand screen. Now, I'm gonna let the airstrike do its thing. And then, move in. I got one down, but then I ran out of bullets. So let's get off the X. Getting off the X is still one of the most useful tactics and we talked about on this channel. Now, I bet you're asking what am I doing? Well, I'm getting the high ground. Stop them from recuperating. Put that one away. It's time to close the gap. And then, just finish it up and close the deal. The arrow pushes him to retreat. Pop him a couple more times to get him down. As he self revives, I'm just gonna take my time and catch a quick reload. He's gonna try to counter the aggression by throwing a C4, but I saw it coming. Now it's time to finish him. This is the last one I got for you boys. Got attacked pretty damn hard again. So, get off the axe and play it up. Then, send a cluster strike. Immediately close that gap. Now, I'm gonna let the cluster strike do its thing, but on the last two runs, I'm gonna use the sound to conceal me going up. And even though there's no one here to greet my welcome, my mother always taught me to never show up empty handed at someone's house. Lucky for them, I brought out one but two DMRs. This tactic is one of my favorites of all time and one that I personally encourage you to master. It's a good way to take people from the high ground or counter their position. I personally cannot think of one occasion where you will benefit from attacking someone and then pulling back. Toasty. Giving them the time to recuperate, get off revives, or pop plates. I cannot think of one. Unless you're into the whole waste all my ammo and armor plates, which is a popular trend to see amongst the rooftop camping community. But hey, I can't relate. Not the type to cook s'mores out of the side of a building. I like to get a little bit more personal. Well, that's all for me today. So enjoy this last example and following the arrow with the sword. Impact, no joy. Major Cade, out. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe, sir. Target mark, send it. Out. You like that? This is Striker 3-1, good copy. Strike inbound.